through the gate or on the road back to the pens. It'll be about a mile from where the gate was. Okay, we're coming up to where the homestead is and the cattle pens. So there's the big truck. And this is a loading ramp I see back here. So the cowboys are out rounding up the cattle. You can see the sun rising. There's a little shack out there. And a windmill, of course. And yes, the cows are moving in the distance. I see some out there. Let's see if we can close in. There they are. And the cowboys are out, rounding up the cattle. So you can hear the cowboys hurting the cattle. Several of them out there. They must have gotten up before sunrise. So they are getting all the cattle into the pen. Where are they taking them? You know, this year I think Private Buyer has bought the calves this year. Normally we just send them to the sale barn. That's what we've done the last 10 or 12 years. And what kind of cattle are these? They're, they're a cross. There's a lot of Hereford in them. Uh, there's some Charlay in them. Uh, way back, I don't know if we have any cows old enough left that have some uh, Brahma in them. But they're, they're a nice mix, you know, they're sturdy and <laughs> drought tolerant as they have to be. Good mama. They've been well fed this year, haven't they? Well, you know, it started raining in July. I think right here at headquarters we got a neighborhood of nine inches. Grew a lot of grass. They are, they are beautiful now. <laughs> they were not so beautiful this year. You've got how many cowboys out there with them? I fed uh, 11 oh, at breakfast this morning. So are you neighboring to Yes. Place? Okay. Yes, everyone helping today are neighbors. Either you know, work here or are neighbors. Okay. Yeah, that's the loading chute. And uh, once they kind of get them situated a little bit, we can walk around where you can see mm -hmm. how they load, uh, bring them through the back of the alley and bring them up. And okay. All righty. Into the, into the trucks. Okay. At one time, there were... I believe seven or eight hand dug wells running in a line across here. And if you see that that concrete slab right over there, there's there's one still open right there. Some of them have caved in and some of them they covered up. But they were uh, hand dug, as we understand it, the Indians dug them, you know, back in the day. There's a, a good underground spring that runs through. So they're pushing everything, you know, cows and calves through. Right here in Richard is stripping the cows and the calves. It's a pretty good little, system, you know, little rig they've got up there, and that, that guy just swings both directions. And so what's the flag all about? It's just, just a way to keep them moving, you know, without using a hot shot or something like that. If they, if they are shy about entering the, the chute there, that just encourages them to... They'd rather move away from the flag. You know, okay. So. They're stripping the calves into a little chute. Okay. So that, that little, or that little pen where the you know, cows are going out the back end. The cowboys are wearing shafts. Right. right. And, and so that's, to protect, that's to protect their leg. You know, like when they're, especially when they're gathering and they're out in the pasture and there's lots of mesquite and other things. Just protects their legs from getting cut up. And it, you know, protects their clothes to some degree. They'll take the heifers and sort through them and get what they want to keep and make cows out of. And then the other ones that are cold will weigh and ship them and load them on the trucks. Ah, ah, ah.
the heifers in this pen are the ones that they are going to keep. You can see the gate open and close. Some of these calves are as big as their mommies now. Yeah. After they load all these calves, they'll just turn the calves out right around here. But they'll stay close. Normally, they, you know, if they have their calf with them, they just go on and graze you know, all the way from here. But they hang around several days and do what you're hearing, the bawling and the squalling. And then they'll go on and have their business and realize, well, that one's gone too. <laughs> they, they gathered yesterday and put them in this trap right here where you saw them coming from the east. Then they gathered at my house and I fed them breakfast at six, which is, that's late. <laughs> you know, big cow day, cow road days, a lot of times breakfast be four, four thirty, something like that. Headquarters house was built, well the first house mm -hmm. was built in 1902 and then it burned in 1936. It was a frame house. And so they started rebuilding in 37, this time out of Adobe, you know, mm -hmm. and, and it's lasted. Um, finished it in 38, but it it has an upstairs, and originally that was the bunkhouse. That ranch was established in 1897. Mr. C.W. Merchant. Mr. C.W. had a partner called uh, Mr. Paramore, J.H. Paramore, and they partnered in, they had partnered in a ranch over in Arizona, uh, San Simone. Right. There's, you know, where San Simone, Arizona is. Yeah. They had a ranch over there, and then they acquired this ranch, uh, bought it from some homesteaders. Yeah, that's a long distance. They were trying right. to keep cattle at both places. And so I don't remember what year they severed their partnership and Mr. Paramore took the Arizona. The original name of this ranch was Doug Springs Ranch because of this well. So you're weighing them before their shift. That's then... normally that's normally the way it works. Record it and then they'll let them go and get another group. 